Well, the the Labret Tarpits um, is fueled by the Salt Lake oil field, and so you have the possibility wherever oil seeps up or asphalt seeps up from the oil field, you you have the possibility of finding fossils. Uh -huh. Well, we we got. 23 fossil boxes, which is where the project came from, and they, they represent 16 fossil deposits. Um, we anticipate that it will take at least five years to do that, and, and conceivably longer. And the chances are that they could re represent the whole range of time at Rancho La Brea, from 11,000 back to 40,000 years or more. And if that is the case, then we have the opportunity to have a very detailed picture of how the climate changed and the environment fluctuated during the waning phases of the Ice Age in Southern California. We've found a number of insects, uh, particularly sort of virtually complete millipedes that we hadn't had representation of before. We've come across whole rafts of oak leaves. And that's very exciting, A, because it, you know, it has the, <laughs> the, the actual leaves there preserved, but when we get to study these, uh, you, you find all sorts of insects and stuff in, in, in leaf litter. Tons of millipedes, actually, articulated millipedes all together. people have been mentioning the millipedes. We're very excited about them. <laughs> uh, it's the first time that we've gotten them still complete. In Pit 91, we just get these little segments, and they're not that interesting. Uh, but these guys, there have been so many of them. It's just really weird. And same with uh, mats of oak leaves. That's a very specific environment and can tell you very specific things about what it was like in the Ice Age. Okay, this tusk is uh, the first complete tusk that we have found here at Rancho La Brea of a Colombian mammoth. Um, it's actually one of a pair. This is the left tusk. Um, in previous excavations, this, which is actually quite heavy, uh, was the largest piece that we had. Um, we were very excited to have these large chunks of tusk, but now, in comparison, we have a complete tusk in beautiful condition. Uh, and just to give you an example about the size of this animal, this is uh, the atlas, the vertebrae, first vertebra of uh, an Indian elephant that we have for comparison, and this is Zed's vertebrae. Wow. So, you know the size of an Indian elephant, and Here's our Colombian mammoth. He was a big guy. His ribs that broke and healed in life. So this bony growth here is a healed fracture. And he had about three of those on one side of his body. Um, so he had been in a few fights. I am particularly excited about looking for some of the small stuff and, and identifying the microfossils that we're going to find in this huge area from all these different dates because environmentally that's more important and it's going to tell us a lot about what was happening in Los Angeles between 10 and 40,000 years. Actually, in fact, it, it may extend our, our dates. We may go back more than 40,000 years when uh, we get some dates on some of these boxes, which is also another exciting thing. So this, this whole project is basically has the potential to rewrite what we know about Rancho La Brea and what we know about the end of the Ice Age in Los Angeles. We're really hoping to find some new species, at least new to Rancho La Brea. I doubt we'll find anything that's really new to science, but um, we should find maybe North American cheetahs. Uh, we've, we haven't found any of those, and we should find them, we think. I would love to find a glyptodon. Glyptodons are these gigantic, um, they're kind of related to ground sloths. They look like giant uh, hamsters with turtle shells attached to them. They're completely bizarre, and I would love to find glyptodons in here.